This is it. It's the new recording area. Finally got it done. Kind of, sort of, 50%, 15% done of what I want it to be. But I'm making a video today in the new area. So a company reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to review a few products. Now, this is not gonna be one of those videos where I do thorough testing of every product that they sent me because let's be honest, the products I'm talking about don't necessarily need to be thoroughly tested, just more presented. And I was a little hesitant at first because they didn't seem terribly exciting, but I am setting up a new recording area, hence the new studio, and I thought maybe I could incorporate some of this technology into the new studio recording area. Now, the three products that I'm talking about today are gonna be smart products, ones that allow you to control powered devices in your home from anywhere in the world that you have an iOS device, which now that I think about it, I probably won't have any reason to control my studio lights while I'm away from home, but, but either way, Let's check them out. Now, the first product is the smart light bulb, something that you can control anywhere in the world as long as you have your iPhone on you. I know what you're thinking, it's super duper exciting. So just bear with me and try to contain your excitement just a little bit. I know I make jokes, I make jokes, but there's probably somebody out there who needs smart light bulbs that they want to control anywhere in the world for whatever reason. Pretty basic. I mean, it's like just stuck in there. Like, holy sh! Wow, that was not going anywhere. That's it. It's basic. Just screw it in and screw something else in. Instruction manual. Power Wi-Fi status indicator. Wi-Fi enabled. Got a little power button right here that you can use to turn it on and off manually. Also, a Wi-Fi connectivity indicator. Light, I know, it's exciting. Got this little thing right here. This is just a standard blue light, just used for whatever, so. It's downloading. It reset, why did it reset? That's, my, what? Kind of a headache, but it's installed. So let's add one. Make sure your accessory is powered on and nearby. If you have a dual band router, please connect your phone to the 2.4 gigahertz network. For the record, I'm sorry I don't have multiple cameras. I was recording with the phone to try to get a different shot, but I do need like an overhead camera because, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Okay, make sure your accessory green LED light flashes slowly. Select the accessory shown on screen, then scan the setup code on the device or instruction manual or enter packaging. And the app prompts, couldn't get blah, 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 then delete the current home. Okay, next. Hey. Position the home kit in frame. Ooh, that's fancy. Look at that, it captured it just like that. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Okay. Okay, light bulb. This is it. This is what this is what you get. You it's just like a push of a button. Boom. That's it. You push a little button right there. On and off. Pretty basic. Supposedly you can do this anywhere in the world. We get an internet connection. So there you have it, you have a light bulb, you can turn on the push your button anywhere in the world, and that's it. For the next on the list, we have a smart plug. Same basic principle, just as the light socket, except it is a plug-in and you can control other devices with it. And it was wrapped in plastic rather than tape, but whatever. I don't need no stinking user manual. I've already set one of these things up. I'm practically an expert and damn it, it has three prongs. Ugh! It's not necessarily a bad thing, but my extension cord only has two.
Okay, so I got it plugged into the wall. You can't see it right now, but I did get a little video of it. And I'm gonna get everything connected and make sure it works. Which, I mean, it should work. I don't see it not working. It's, it's pretty basic. Go back to the app and add the, the new plugin. Let's see, uh, next. There it is. Pulled it up right away, boom. Pairing right away. You know, once you get your first one set up, everything is so much smoother, but getting that installed, setting up the whole home kit thing, and when you've never really used it before, kind of a pain in the ass. But I can say, once I got it set up, pretty quick. Kogi Outlet is now turned off. It is added. I have two icons on my phone that I can control right from the phone. Boom. Pretty basic. Okay, not necessarily a groundbreaking technology, but it is still kind of cool. And I've never had a chance to play with anything smart. Well, like this, you know what I mean? I know, that's cool. The last thing on the list is this, and I'm not installing this into my house. Not, not yet, I have, to, I have an idea, actually. I'm thinking about installing this on my outside lights, uh, like my garage lights, the things that should be on during the nights, but I don't always turn on. I like this idea because I can install this where my regular light switch is, hook this up just like regular, and I can control, ooh, Wow, that's interesting. It's like push button, turn on. Okay, so it's not a switch, push button, turn on. Makes sense because it turns on and off electronically. I think, I'm pretty sure, you can monitor power usage through this. Possibly, I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, let's play with that just a little bit. I think I'm gonna try something out now. So you can see more details on what's going on with that device, including the power that you're using. So let's turn this on and go to details. Currently it says it's using 21 watts, which makes sense because I have like a 20 some watt light bulb over there plus the little LED strip that I have going. So you can actually uh, see exactly what kind of power usage you're using. You can set the device time. Uh, you can obviously name it, uh, change the location. So if you have multiples of this, and actually I searched on Amazon for these and you can buy these in packs. So if you wanna control everything in your house, you know, hook up all of your electronics, whatever it is that you have planned for this, you can set up multiple zones and multiple, you know, names for all your devices and keep it very easy to manage all with this little app. And then on top of that, you can go through and monitor your power usage. Like for some reason, it currently our current power went up to 31 watts. I don't know if that's because the light bulb's heating up or what, I have no idea. I can set a timer. Ha, this is awesome right here. That means I can set a timer for my outside lights that will automatically turn on and off whenever it's supposed to be dark. Circling back around to the power consumption, I'm kind of like impressed by this whole thing. You can monitor everything you use, but you can go month by month and it can give you like total power usage through each month. So that's kind of cool. If you have some power hungry devices, I think that's kind of cool. I kind of want to hook this up to my computer. That's not a bad idea. Looks like you can actually use Siri to voice control all of your devices, set schedules to automate your home, show energy consumption or electronic, I already covered that, and control the smart plug for anywhere on your smartphone. Already know all that. Max load, 15 amps, 1,800 watts load for indoor use only, I think. I could possibly maybe hook this up to my server and see how much power my server runs. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's see. Ooh, power is out, no, no. Oh, don't freak out. There you go. Everything's good, everything's good. Okay. Zeus did not like, okay, Zeus didn't give a shit, but my UPS did not like that. It, it decided to uh, make noises on me. Let's see. It says 440 watts is my current power draw for everything. This is interesting because I run Zeus. I don't have my second server on right now, but right now I have Zeus, two monitors, and my main computer all running off 440 watts. Everything, like 
all of it. I would plug this in just to see how Zeus or how much power Zeus is pulling, but I don't want to unplug Zeus because I don't want to bring everything down. But maybe if I'm doing some maintenance and powering things down or restarting it, I might actually swap this and see just exactly how much power Zeus draws. Or I can just unplug my main computer, but. So that's it. I can now control anything in my house I want to that is electronic and if it turns on automatically, if it has power. I have this that I can use to control my outside lights, so that's kind of cool. I have this, I can control a light bulb. I guess that's kind of cool. I think I'm way more impressed with the socket though because you have so many more possibilities. I mean, I just plugged it into my server, you know, with Zeus and running all the Plex and my whole network and everything. So that's kind of interesting. And I, I think I, I think I like that product more than anything else, but this can be just as powerful because you can wire an entire circuit, however many you want to run through it. I think it has some limitations to it. Up to 1200 Watts or 10 amp. So you can run up to 10 amps with this. Obviously, you're probably not going to need that much if you're just running some light bulbs or some basic stuff like that. Either way, you have a lot of options, a lot of possibilities. It looks pretty cool. Setup was kind of a pain in the rear, but that's because I don't use a lot of the HomeKit stuff on my iPhone. So once I got past that hump and I had everything set up and ready to go, everything was smooth selling. Is it a groundbreaking technology? No, it is not a groundbreaking technology, but it's still interesting and I've never had a chance to play with one myself personally, so I find it pretty interesting. Now I just gotta see exactly where I wanna hook this up. I think, and this is just an idea, once I get my new studio all set up, everything's going, ready to go, I can use that plug-in and make it to where all of my studio lights all turn on just at a push of a button. So. That might be kind of cool. I'm not entirely sure yet, but stay tuned. I will probably be incorporating that plug-in somewhere. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry that it's kind of boring in the background. I'm doing the best I can with what I have set up so far. If you have any ideas for getting this backdrop set up and, and making it look fancy, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than willing to hear on what you say. I am definitely getting rid of this desk because that is just a monstrosity and I don't want it there. But that's for another day. So thank you for watching, everybody. Like and subscribe below and have a good day.